Hello guys. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about this movie called Duru Angal Padinar which is directed by Karthik Narayan. And this movie is a Tamil language crime thriller which came out around 2016. So I'm going to talk about this movie and I'll try to convince you guys to watch this movie basically. So yeah. to start off let me give you a gist of what the movie is all about i won't get in too much detail or like i won't spoil the story but i want you to have a general understanding about the type of story this movie is trying to tell so the movie starts off uh, the movie starts off with a murder that happens in the middle of the streets at, during a rainy night so there's a death that happens and uh, most of the movie surrounds around the mystery behind was this death an accident or was it like a murder or was it a suicide attempt and that is like the basic mystery behind the movie but what is interesting about this movie is that you get a lot of perspectives so the story of the events that are happening you get it from the perspective you see it through the perspective of different people and uh, as the evidence starts coming through you s- the possibility starts narrowing down and you can kind of start to see a clearer picture but you're not sure if it's clear still so yeah that is the general vibe of the movie it's a very unique well written crime thriller suspense thriller yeah the cinematography in this movie is like really on like top notch When it comes to cinematography this movie has a lot of long one takes okay and it's done r- masterfully there's a lot of scenes in the police station where the camera just moves around and people there are just acting naturally like doing their own uh, day to day tasks so yeah that movie becomes very immersive because of a lot of these one takes because of these reasons when i was watching this movie I got very annoyed when someone rang the bell. I I genuinely felt like someone interrupted me from a deep experience. I genuinely got pissed. So, yeah, this movie is visually beautiful. Even the color correction is really unique in the sense they have color corrected the movie in a way where the da- night time night time has a yellow tint to it whereas the day time has a bluish tint to it which is completely opposite of what you see often or like in real life too it's sunny and it's warmer in the daytime and at night it's kind of cooler like bluish tones so they did unique stuff with the lighting color correction really beautiful stuff and that uh, regards even the story is well written damn the plot twist that you see uh, you don't see it coming there are points where The, the, there are there's one specific plot twist it's kind of far reaching and uh, you're worried whether it would work or not but this for this movie it totally worked cuz i have noticed in many indian movies when they try to come up with a crazy unique twist it sometimes works in theory but when they execute it they mess it up they fuck it up really bad but this movie didn't do that it had a insane twist in theory it sounds really good but they nailed it even in concept so i was really impressed by that uh, if if i come to the negatives like the only thing i could really truly criticize this movie for would be the acting because for the most of the movie the movie was carried by its engaging a thrilling suspense drama kind of story it had really good cinematography really tight editing like loud the editing and a uh, great use of slow mo so cinematography so all these things the technical aspects were great but yeah at some points uh, i did feel like the acting uh, acting of certain actors didn't give me enough like i didn't feel the emotions that uh, the story wanted to convey especially there were there are three teenagers who are supposed to be these like 
how do you call it rich spoiled brat kind of kids and the actors who played these kids didn't convince me one bit this goes on to almost every actor this is like there was something that was limiting them from conveying the full emotion and also certain dialogue delivery felt a little bit monotonous that's 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 what i felt so acting was the only place where the movie took a step back but apart from that the movie was top notch and i don't know i'm not 100% sure about the budget of the film but it kind of feels like a low budget film in a good way so in a good way in the sense there is there was a lot of restrictions to the directors there was no fancy visual stuff except there there's few good visual stuff near the end but nothing felt too expensive in a way it, it felt grounded kind of low budget independent film esque so yeah overall this movie is like a very engaging and a short movie too which is very surprising for an indian film this is like this movie was 1 hour 45 minutes so it just like went by quickly it never left me a bore it was constantly engaging so yeah top notch movie yeah in conclusion i would rate this movie 8 out of 10 so if you like this review let me know and uh, definitely check this movie out watch it and the director um, kartik naren a uh, great storyteller he wrote and directed this movie so very impressive kudos to him hope you like this video thanks for watching bye bye